Good morning, family. This is Linda. So I'm in a supermarket here in my area. It is a neighborhood Walmart. I wanted to find out the foods that had bioengineered products in them, right? So this is Prego, as you can see right here. I wanted to get a can where you can really see it. And these are the labels right here. It says bioengineered products, right? Here you go, you can see it right there. Now listen, family. In 1994, this is when these seeds first came out. They are GMO seeds, but um, the name was changed. And I'm thinking it was the FDA that changed the names from GMOs for the labels to bioengineered and that's what it's called now now family many of our products have this bioengineered foods in them this is not new but it is just now that all so many more of the vegetables and the foods that we have in the stores are they have GMO products in them there were a time when we had choices in foods that we buy um, that did not have GMO products in it. Today, more and more of companies that makes our foods are using GMO products. As you can see here, this is what, Hamburger Helper. So at one time we had a choice. We have no choices now. By the end of this year, um, right now it says 88% of all products in our grocery stores contain bioengineered products. Now family, back in the 1940s, um, the United States was pushing Americans to grow their own food by the Victory Garden. And this is their way, one way they were using to stop United States from having a food shortage because we was at war, World War One and World War Two. Well, now because of the crisis that's going on in our country, this is their answer now by making these laboratory seeds that is resistant to everything. Family, you can buy a loaf of bread and put it on top of your shelf and that bread will not mold. You could go back at that bread another month from now, two months from now, and that bread will still be fresh. I, I find a big problem with that. But please do your own research on bioengineered food or GMOs. This is Campbell Soup, Campbell Soup Company. And yes, you will find bioengineered products in Campbell's Soup products. There it is, right there. So, if you have not started a garden, or if this doesn't, you know, if this doesn't bother you at all, then please, you know, hey, don't, don't start a garden. But if this concerns you, um, the studies, uh, they have out about bioengineered products and what it is doing to the human body. This is the more reason, the more reason you should drop a seed. Now, of course, this is all on you. Whatever you choose to do for you and your family, grow your own food family. I'm not saying that we can grow all the foods that we can eat, but we can grow something, something that's going to help us because this new, this new seeds, these new laboratory seeds, they will show up on our bodies. Maybe not now, but family, these seeds and what is doing to our insides, it will show up. So, if you have the ability to grow you some food, please, family, grow some food for you and your family. Because what they're selling us in the stores now, 
it is not good for our bodies at all. It tastes good, yeah, but baby, it's not real. It is not real. So, I am just, please do your own research. Just do your own research on these seeds and find out if this is something that you want to continuously do. Okay?